Hey guys, Jessica here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you are new here, my name is Jessica. I'm the furry family coach. Today we're going to be doing a pet safe, non toxic stove top fragrance using products that you may already have in your homes. This weekend uh, decorating for the holidays because I'm one of those people and <laughs> I just like decorating and I like decorating early and um, so one of the things that we really love to do especially around fall and, and the holidays is to bring fragrances in our home that remind us of the time of year um, so a lot of people will buy candles or maybe air fresheners, uh, plug-ins, different things that have nostalgic smells um, that maybe match the season or match the holiday. And I love making my home smell good, but I know that most of what we buy in the store is toxic to our pets and to us, but it just affects our pets in a greater capacity than it affects us because they're so much smaller than we are. Um, so what I want to do really quickly is just talk about why this is important. Um, and I've got my little cheat sheet here because I can't remember titles and things like that. <laughs> so July 2019 in the Science of the Total Environment, there was an article published um, regarding research that was done. Uh, titled Urinary Concentrations and Distribution Profiles of 21 Thalate Metabolites in Pet Cats and Dogs. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because thalates are what are in all of these. Anything that says like natural fragrances, there's a whole list of words that you and I probably cannot pronounce, and they are all in the family of thalates. Now, thalates not spelled the way it sounds. It's P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S. Their phthalic acid used to increase flexibility of plastics, also durability and longevity. So they are used as, um, I guess, preservatives a lot of times, and they are used in plastics, of course. So why are phthalates bad? Well, they are known to harm the lungs uh, the kidney, let me get this right, lungs, no, 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 yeah, yeah, lungs, liver, kidney, and reproductive system, I was just saying it in a different order, lungs, kidneys, livers, and the reproductive system, they're known to harm at least these things in our bodies and in our pets' bodies. Now, what this study found is that all of the, all of the phthalates they tested for were shown in the urine of pet dogs and cats. Not only were they shown, they were shown in two times the safe limit, safe limit of what the, what, what's allowed or considered safe limit in humans. So if you can imagine a tiny little, you know, 15 or 10 pound cat having two times safe limits as a 150 pound human, that's a big problem, right? So we don't want to introduce all these phthalates into our home. Um, I am not going to butcher the names of all these phthalates, but they are found in many household cleaners, perfumes, hair gels, nail polishes, air fresheners, pesticides, and the list goes on and on and on. Anything that says natural fragrance, also, it's, a, it's an all-encompassing term for a lot of these different phthalates. So, um, it can be absorbed through the skin and it can be inhaled, which is also why it's so important to look at the cleaners we're using in our house. So if, um, post below, let me know if you are interested. I have a few different, uh, I think three different videos on my YouTube channel that 
show you how to make pet safe, non-toxic household cleaners. Um, so let me know in the comments and I can post those for you guys as well. And so let's see, I cannot pronounce all these phthalates. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really concerning the levels of phthalates that have been found in our pet cats and dogs. And you know, our, our cats and dogs, they don't bathe every day like we do. They don't wash their hands every 20 minutes like we do. They're not wearing clothing to protect them from all of these chemicals in our environment. So it's really important that we monitor and manage this for our pets. We are our pets advocates, right? So what do I care, right? I'm a dog trainer. I care a lot because my job is not just to help you teach your dog how to do things. It's teaching you how to be the best pet parent you can be. And in so doing, we're talking about the whole dog, right? We're talking about what we put in our dog's body, whether that is food, whether that is, um, you know, waters or the bowls that we feed or give water to our dogs in, whether that is the chemicals we're using around our house, everything, all encompassing, the shampoos we use on our dogs, we're talking about the whole dog, right? So it is so incredibly important. So let's get over here. I'm gonna be making my uh, favorite stovetop fragrance for this time of year, which I, like I said, I'm decorating for the holidays. So I really want this like deep fall, wintry smell. I love the smell of pumpkin pie. I love the smell of apple pie. I mean, just, if you think about all of the smells that you love, all those like nostalgic smells that you love, this is going to encompass a lot of them. So what are we going to do? I've got a large pot. I have it on low uh, to simmer on the stove and you can leave this on while you are home and checking it <laughs> as long as you want throughout the day. Um, you may just need to replenish some of the water throughout the day. Maybe set yourself a reminder every hour or so to check on it and replenish the water. Um, definitely never leave this on if you are not home. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna add some, I have some apple that I've sliced. So I'm gonna add some slices of apple. And then I'm going to add some slices of orange that I cut up, fresh, fresh apple, fresh orange. I just cut these up this morning. And then get my, I'm going to take a couple of cinnamon sticks, maybe two or three, and add them in. And roughly maybe five drops or so of vanilla. Ooh maybe a little bit more. Um, and what's really awesome about this is that you can customize it to what you like uh, and what you think smells best. And I may have added a little bit too much vanilla, but we'll see. And then I got some cloves. So I'm just gonna add you know, a handful of cloves in here. And I'm just gonna let that simmer. And very soon, I can already smell it right here because I'm so close, but very soon my house is going to smell absolutely amazing and I have not introduced any chemicals into my home for either myself or my pets to inhale, which is amazing. So this, um, I didn't use all of my apple and all of my orange, so I'm just gonna use my food huggers to uh, save these maybe for the next time I do this, or maybe I'll snack on these a little bit later. I don't know. Of course, these are also good snacks for your puppers, as long as you're not feeding them the seeds. So I'm just gonna put my food huggers on these and get these in the fridge. And I'm gonna let this stovetop fragrance simmer as long as I'm home today. And I'm just going to continue to replenish water as necessary. And this is gonna make my house, my entire home, not, I mean, my house isn't, you know, 8,000 square feet. <laughs> you might not do an 8,000 square foot home, but I have a very decent sized home. It's gonna make my whole home smell absolutely amazing. So let me see if I can um, bring this over so you can see this, the pot on the stove. There we go. So that's what it's looking like. 
and it is going to smell absolutely amazing throughout my whole house and again I have not whoo, sorry guys I have not introduced any chemicals into my home which is amazing I'm not really sure where I first found this recipe um, maybe Liz Fenwick I'm not really sure but What's really amazing about this is that you can absolutely customize this to whatever smells best to you. And you're not introducing any chemicals in your home. How amazing is that? So let me know in the comments if you do this recipe or something similar to this. If you're already um, familiar with doing stovetop fragrances, let me know. If you do something different, if you put different ingredients in, post them below in the comments because I'd love to try them out. Um, again, this is completely customizable to whatever is going to be best for you, what you prefer most in your home. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you give this a try. If you do and you love it or you hate it, one or the other, I, let me know. Either way, post it in the comments and let me know if you love it. Let me know if you hate it. Um, I think you're going to love it though. So thank you so much for watching. Again, oh, don't forget to grab your copy of my book. I put it in the description below. And yeah, thanks so much for being here with me today, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.